Aquarius, 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 what's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarian between the 1st and the 15th of November? Hmm. Y'all experiencing a period of abundance? Hmm. Y'all moving away from things that don't serve you? Hmm. Are we moving to, are we evolving towards soul growth? <laughs> if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing is not for you, you can find one of these other beautiful readers on YouTube who can resonate with you better, you know, but I'm a realist, so it's coming out as such. <laughs> and, um... Sorry about the distraction with the train, my location. I'm by a damn train uh, rail station, y'all, so just bear with me. I apologize. Um, this will be from the 1st to the 15th of November. With my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Aquarius. If you're new to the family, welcome to the family, baby. Look, we a little dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We cuss a little, though. And we definitely grow. We love. We share. And we enlighten positive shit only here, okay? Um, for those of you who would like a personal reading, I do have a reading special going on until the 30th of October for one question, 10 minute, one um, answer reading, okay? I also um, have a $15 off special for my 30 through 60 minute sessions, and all of that information can be found within the description. This is just general. Um, and so, you guys, please like, share, comment and subscribe y'all i truly appreciate the love and i read every comment i may don't have time to reply to every one because i would have to really just that yeah it's a lot of y'all becoming i got my family's big we're growing y'all and not only that you know the business is growing as well and i'm thankful for that you know so because of that oh y'all time sometimes i just be wanting to go hide in the closet and i know don't nobody feel me aquarius <laughs> Y'all, but you know, at the same time, y'all need all of this light, all of this love, you know, um, this energy has been pretty thick with this Venus retrograde in Scorpio, as well as the damn Hunter's Moon to add on to it. And it's going to be a little rough on my Aquarian. So like that said, you know, you guys have some hella decisions to make. Even when we meditate and things have been coming to me a bit differently, I've really been activating my goddess energy, okay? Um, as well as stepping into that and letting it, you know, I gotta say, let them, let them use you. I've been letting you use me, okay? And so with that, I work for spirit. I'm just the messenger. So, you know, y'all please let me know how it resonates. I love y'all soul family. I don't like long introductions either, so we finna get into it, okay? So what I got while I was meditating for the sign of Aquarius, all y'all is filling up damn pages. Maybe it's just my big ass handwriting, okay? But the intuitive messages that I got with Aquarius, and I had to write them all down. I find myself doodling, then when I get up, when I, you know, when I come back, you know, and zone back in, I find that I got a whole damn list of things. So please, um, you guys let me know how this resonates with you, with the intuitive messages, but I did write them all down. I got spiritual protection, fearless, hereditary, bondage, soul remembrance, forgiveness, perspective, hurtling, stagnant, releasing, trust, heaviness. I have cancer. I got Pisces and I got Scorpio. I got creating. I got learning, meditating, wisdom enlightenment, water, earth, nature, authentic, I got bondage, I got manipulation, I got karmic, I got soulmate, I got past life, I got judgment, naive, Sagittarius, stern, Leo, love, Aries, letting go, expansion, Creating, learning, growth, evolve, user. I got stability. I got security. I have movement. I have progress. And I have reconciliations. 
So I do know with this uh, full moon in Taurus, it is going to affect the fourth house of Aquarius. Okay, well, four, four Aquarius. And so it has to do with like making fair and just compromises. Okay, when it's not taking too much from yourself. It's also about your security, your foundations. This is a period of rebuilding. Some of you all may have experienced some sour moments um, in October or possibly in September coming into October that got you restructuring, rebuilding, re-looking, taking a re-examination at things. Some of you all really need to release that fear of being alone. It's okay to be alone. Some of you all are really, really, really holding on to heaviness from the past and spirit is really needing you to let that go. Some of you all, the intensity behind a relationship, some of you all have a twin soul that you're connecting with, a twin flame union, but it's not coming to pass because you, you know how to give love, but you don't know how to receive love. Some of you all are really needing to see things from a different perspective in order to truly, truly, truly see how someone does not appreciate your presence, your essence, and the beauty that you bring to things. Some of you have... A woman in your midst, mother, sister, um, best friend, some woman asks a whole lot of you and you're beginning to see things for what they are, that this person is a habitual, broaching ass person. And I feel like that because they come to take. They come to take every little piece of damn crumb of your energy that they can get. And it's only a problem when you don't allow them to have it. Some of you all are being emotionally manipulated by people. I feel this is more of karmic soulmates, karmic energy from past life. Some of you all are being emotionally manipulated by people who know that you are on the brink of a new beginning, just like you're able to see it because your eyes are working differently, might I add. Some of y'all have just received a massive ass download during that full moon in Taurus. Um, and I feel like it's allowed you to see things differently. It's allowed you to embrace both sides of you, both your shadow side and your sides of the light in order to make a free will decision to choose the light and which road you want to walk because you've walked down you're getting a little ski taste of both because you're learning to be um, accepting and receptive, you know, and not under and understand that when a person tells you something, it's not to make you feel as if like you're less than or not enough, or it's not to make you like overthink or stress about things, but it's to make you work towards it. It's to make you work on it, and it's about you to have to you to make the choice to do the internal work because spirit uses. People, places, things, animals, all type of synchronicities to get our attention. If you keep hearing the same thing through different people who are not connected or different sources, ironically, you may be going through something and you praying to God and you hear a certain commercial comes on and says, let go. You know, it's, yeah, God is trying to tell you something all aboard. You hear the train? Some of y'all need to make some damn movement. Let's go. You ready? All right? Because. I'm going to be honest with you. The way that you see things is definitely going to shift during this time. A lot of you all are going to understand that it's the, it's what you're not communicating and it's not what you're not wanting to see that's keeping you in this dark place. And it's the fact that you're not standing your, you're not standing your ground because some of you have acceptance issues. You just really want someone to accept you for you being in your life, even if, you know, you have to play with the dark side in order to keep them. For some of you all, you really need to come to terms with the darker sides of yourself. See manipulation. And see, understand that we are what we attract. So if you have an emotionally manipulative-ass person in your world, whether you want to see it or know it or not, because, I, like I said, I'm we family. I didn't come to play play. So whether you want to see it or not, there is some part of you that is emotionally manipulative that you're needing to work on. And for some of you, it stemmed from what you actually saw as children, what you saw as children, and you move holding on to that into this place of being an adult. And it's like, I can carry the weight of circumstances around me, 
but am I really happy? Some of you all may be seeing um, blackbirds during this time. Some of you all, that blackbird is going to come around the sun, and that blackbird is signifying to you. Usually people associate blackbirds with death and things of that nature. I don't feel that energy. I feel more so of the death within yourself. And I feel that it has to do with you releasing that fear to move forward by yourself and truly expanding on the things that you're passionate about. Moving forward, everything that you have learned to recreate your world the way that you need it to go. That you would desire it to go. Because for some of you, you are on the brink of a new beginning. Something is trying to be burned. Hold on, y'all. My damn incense here. I don't need this. I'm going to burn this table up. Yeah. But some of you all are on the brink of a new beginning. Some of you all could literally be finding out during this time that you're having a baby. Understand that this Venus energy in Scorpio. Venus is the planet of love. Okay? That's Taurus planet. The love. Materializing. Stability. Practical matters. You understand? Somebody is pregnant and they're not happy about a pregnancy. And I feel like it's the other person, the other party involved that's making you feel low about yourself or making you feel like you got, you're got not good enough because maybe they have someone else who they had a child with who they possibly, who you feel like they compare you to, I'm hearing. But you got to see that beauty and your blessing and your passions. And yet the things that you desire and that love, that passionate love that lives within you, for you, within yourself, for yourself, by yourself. Some of you all, some of y'all got to possibly leave somebody to assist them in being part of their journey and coming up out that darkness because you made a conscious decision. And some of y'all are dealing with somebody who have some type of rejection or acceptance issue and they have become little fucking narcissists. And they make you feel like prisoners in your home, in your own home. And spirit is saying you hold, you hold the power to how your world goes. A lot of this during this time, your crown chakra is going to be crazy. Some of you all may literally be having prophetic dreams during this time. You may actually find yourself having hella deja vu moments. Some of you all are really needing to get in nature because some of you all are possibly going to receive some huge download. I'm seeing in nature some of you all will also um some of you all while sitting in nature especially if you're the type to meditate in nature some of you all may actually get like a glimpse a premonitory glimpse of what's to come in maybe a relationship that you thought was over and done with some of you all uh, could have thought that you had issues with conceiving a child and you're going to learn through um, a miraculous pregnancy. This is all divinely guided, okay? And this is spirit leading the show, so do not be fearful. Quit worrying about your health and claim great health, great wealth, great abundance. I am happy. I am joy. I am love. I am life. So be it. It's time for you to rise like the phoenix baby and understand that anything can happen but spirit will definitely reveal it to you through many synchronicities if you choose to listen for the right reasons and not manipulative reasons and it's about coming to terms with yourself not seeing shit how you want to see it but for the truth accepting it as such and moving forward and rising above in a very passionate way because it's infinite baby it's eight here it was destined that way because that is what brings you to this grateful place to this fulfilled place to this very nurturing place to this comfortable and secure place of knowing that what it is that I desire I can manifest it my happiness lies within my own hands and I'm, I'm divinely protected. I'm divinely guided. Some of you all are desiring possibly a Capricorn. Some of you all, it's an Aries. But I feel that even away from love, some of you all are just desiring happiness. And literally, you hold 
your passions in the grist and pretty much in, in in the palm of your hands if only you choose to see what you already have around you and how you can recreate and use what you got to sit in that emperor seat. This Queen of Swords energy is going to be showing its damn face. I see that now. But you can have whatever you like. You're just needing to shift your perspective and your perception and understand that again, you hold this, but unfortunately, you hold this by doing. Maybe I should do this. By doing this, by moving forward. For some of you all, it's literally what it is. Somebody could possibly, you could be intuitively have already seen somebody finna dip. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Somebody finna dip, or they have dipped in the past, but because you didn't lose your shit, it's about you standing your ground, standing your firmament, standing in your grounded foundation and not losing your shit. And owning your own power and holding on to that. How are you going to be losing your shit for some shit you already seen coming? If a person shows you who they are, believe them. If a person does cowardly things in order to prevent you from moving forward, you are not bonded to anybody. You belong to God. You belong to your damn self. And you are always divinely protected and you can always have that happiness and you know it. So if you choose to remain stuck and feel stagnant, it's because you put yourself there. Let's talk, somebody. It's about seeing that abundance. And during this time, you will see the beauty in the things. There's a need for gratefulness. Okay? Because some of y'all feel like you're giving, giving, giving in situations. Okay, possibly to this fire sign, this damn Leo. That's why I saw Leo. This is why. Some of y'all may feel like you're giving to situations, giving, 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 but you still feel stuck or st stuck or trapped in those situations when really on the pool, you hold the key to your own fucking happiness. You're just depending on somebody to give you what spirit wants you to give yourself and accept the love that they're trying to give you through this abundance. That is created and recreated by yourself. Some of y'all went through those things and being in solitude because y'all was very dependent on other people providing you that happiness. The spirit ultimately wants you to give yourself and see that you actually have that around you with what you did with your own two hands yourself. Business owners, and you know you ain't listen to that damn nudge. Spirits, they start that business. Jump off the cliff, somebody. I forgot to give y'all y'all angel message. <laughs> but it's as right. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. This is a positive card showing that you're ready to process and move on from painful experiences and trauma. Let it go. This means that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. You're guided to devote time for your personal healing work. This may involve appointments uh, with a therapist or healer or spending extra time in prayer or meditation on self-care practices. Detoxification from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influence comes up very strongly for you right now. Clear your energy out. Clear it out, baby. Let it go. Let it go, baby. You're going to be all right. Let it go. Some of you all, there is possibly during this time in love matters, you could possibly be receiving some type of, some someone's going to receive some type of truth during this time. And again, it's something you intuitively knew already. You already knew this shit with this high priestess, okay? You got, your eyes been working differently, I saw, since mid-October, really October. Some of you all were having prophetic dreams. Some of you, and it's going to continue. Prophetic dreams, I'm seeing crown chakra expanding. I'm seeing third eyes popping. I'm seeing actual premonitory energy. People having premonitions while they wide awake in nature. I'm seeing downloads. So you already know what's going to take place. Spirit may even reveal to you why it has to take place. 
And what's the karma behind it? Through synchronicities, through those birds, through butterflies. For some of you all, through rabbits. Some of you all is white birds, eagles to be exact, hawks also. But it's time. It was time it had to go because it was time to chop, chop, and someone was procrastinating. For some of you all, this could involve a cancer or possibly an um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. could also be Pisces or Scorpio as well. But I feel like you're going to get to a period where you don't know if you want to stay or go. For some of you all, you stand in a situation because of your stability in the situation you've become comfortable. You could be dealing with an earth sign as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like some of y'all are even unhappy with your job. You know it's time to create. So spirit is literally sitting there. You're sitting there with that heaviness on you, baby, because that's not where you're supposed to be. Jump off that cliff. What you scared for? There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Spirit, please show me. There's your four queries between. Yeah, some of y'all gonna have to leave somebody behind and get left behind. For some of you, it can involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you, you're gonna possibly be leaving the job behind during this time. You're chasing whatever, you're letting go whatever it is, whoever it is, it just don't make you happy anymore. Because some of you have been eternally conflicted for too damn long. And it has to do with happiness or stability. Happiness or stability. But what the hell is you stressing for when you know you can recreate that yourself in this period of solitude with this hermit card being here? Some of y'all leaving the Virgo out in the car. Some of y'all is definitely fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. But some of you all, you're internally conflicted during this time because you could have been dealing with the Leo. And this person wants to come back and recreate, possibly after going to go make outside children that you found out about. Y'all got my nose itching. For some of you, this could have been a Virgo that did this or a fire sign. For some of you all, you're kind of in solitude mode because you could possibly be insecure about having children. Maybe you feel that you can't recreate. I feel like we'll get more opinions on that. Spirit says, do more information, get more information, do more research. Some of you all, someone you could be dealing with a water sign or that damn Leo, they got options. For some of you all, you got options, but you choose to sit in this stagnant, sad ass place. Spirit wants you to rise, rise above that because your vibration, <laughs> you weren't woke up this morning, baby. Or no morning to be mediocre. Or for that matter, to hold the burdens of another man on your shoulders. Let God do God's job. Yeah, some of y'all are going to be broken possibly after finding out about someone juggling three-party situations and kids being born out of them. This could involve, again, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of y'all, it definitely have to do with some type of deceptive behavior. Okay, but there is going to be a releasing of this feeling of bondage to this person. Because I feel like for some of y'all, you couldn't make the move because you expected marriage. You wanted this to occur. This is what you wanted, okay? But some of you all, you really want to reconcile with a fire sign. But some of y'all are going to possibly have to sneak away from a partner in order to do it. And I feel like some of you all could also be having a Taurus that could have put you in a third-party situation. You could find that truth out. But all of this is happening to assist you to be catalytic situations in order for you guys to move forward. So it's not what's happening, it's how you look at it and how you accept it. Because for some of you all, you will possibly have a, a new earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that wants to actually put in the work. For some of you all who are worried about finances, please stop worrying about finances and start speaking them into your life because fear is going to bless you financially. For some of you all, that new job that you were afraid to apply for, okay, I strongly feel that Within the first three weeks of November, possibly three days for some of y'all, okay? I feel that you're going to get some very, very good news about your finances. Please come in and keep me updated. Let me know. 
And it's something that you wish for, but it's after taking a leap of faith and really trusting the divine to do the divine's job. For those of you holding on to a sneaky motherfucker out of fear of having a having to take a financial L, know that you and them babies gonna be all right. Because for some of you all, you have already healed from the vibration of this damn meal. You've been courageous. You've moved forward. And as soon as you get to moving forward and you disconnect. And you healing, okay? Here come this motherfucker. Here come this person, okay? But some of you all, it's a Libra. Some of y'all are going to find out that you're married to a very sneaky individual. You can find it out through the outside children. Oh, yeah. Some of you all, in order to get this Ace of Wands, to get this new beginning, it's taken for you to truly, truly, truly heal from this fear of being alone. Fear of being not accepted. Fear of being not enough. This insecurity. This feeling of, I don't have this and I'm not moving at that pace because Sharonda them, fuck them. You don't know what the hell. People don't tell you the, the true, the real deal, holy feel of what's really the hell going on in their life. They tell you what the hell they want you to know. And it's fairy tale that they didn't paint it in their damn head. And spirits say, some of you all need to let that, let that fairy tale go. For some of you all, this could be someone who you have a family with or who you have a child with. For some of you all, this is past life karma. For some of you all, in the past life, you felt stuck to this person and this person still didn't give you what you wanted. Your karma, in order to evolve, baby, to deal with, is truly allowing the skills to balance themselves out. Allowing spirit to come in and intervene and allow them before you get the praying for this husband or this wife, make sure that God has designed this person and has built this person to first be the man or the woman that they were called to be. Like you have made a free will choice to ascend to. Okay? Because for some of you all, in order to turn things around, because you have spent that time learning how to love. Learning how to, if I don't got a job, I know how to get money. I know how to be creative in order to get money. Y'all are very creative people. Learning how to communicate through somebody's fucked up communication. Learning how to be passionate, go be authentic to yourself in the things that you're passionate about. And for some of you all, it could, this could involve an Aries, strong Aries emphasis with this fool and a magician card here. But I feel like you need to take a leap of faith elsewhere, not wholly attached to your expectations and watch spirit show up and show out because some of y'all only want to see this ten of cups on a particular situation or a particular partner but for some of y'all you need to understand when someone is a karmic partner and they came in your life as a lesson people come in for reasons and seasons hold on to that and understand that some people only come now like to teach us a lesson or bring us blessings. And then we take what we learn, we take what we gather, and we get the fuck and go recreate like this magician and this damn food part, which is also telling me next to this damn nine of cups that goes to the ten of cups, go build your shit, sis bro. Go start your business. Stop waiting on they mother though. Stop waiting on them slackers. Stop waiting on people to get right. When you move away, can you go recreate? Jump off the cliff. What you scared for? Because it's damn show judgment time. You got to make a decision, Aquarius. I love y'all very, very, very much. But this indecisiveness, spirit is no longer having it. You're a fixed sign. So you guys don't like abrupt change. But it's the changes in our life that we don't see coming. That bring us the most strength. I want y'all to take a minute to get out of your head about the wrong shit. And reflect on that shit. How many times have you been in a place of your life. Where you didn't know what the hell tomorrow was going to bring. But when you trusted yourself. And trusted that I was, I'm going to fight regardless. And I'm going to keep my shit. I'm going to hold my shit together. Not only did it bring beauty. But it about beauty, it lets you understand and recognize the beast within yourself. It built character, morale, and courage. Think about it.
This is what I have for y'all between the 1st and 15th of November. If you need a personal reading, I got a special going on. Y'all better get in now. I love you guys. Until the middle of the month, much love, much light. Many, many blessings. Namaste, baby. Mwah.